The same thing that you saw me doing with that text file, that's what you're gonna be doing from a command line to try to reduce the noise. And you only wanna see the stuff that's important to you by using some really simple Unix commands. I often find people when they look at log file analysis and they see this stuff, they are like, ew. They watch people and they're like, oh my God, they see you typing this kind of stuff. They're like, my God, that that's that's crazy. But what you need to realize, and yes, guys, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna be doing today. <laughs> um, but what you need to realize is the same thing that you saw me doing with that text file, that's what you're gonna be doing from a command line. The, the idea is to try to reduce the noise. You reduce the noise and you only want to see the stuff that's important to you. Now, you do that by using some really simple Unix commands. So, the simplest of the simple Unix commands for this kind of stuff, the cat command. Cat is short for concatenate. It's how you read a file. Basically, you just say, hey, I want to see this file. So you cat the file. Grep, right, it's how you get a regular expression. And what that means is I'm looking for a particular pattern, okay? Awk, awk is so that you can print out columns of data. So you can say, if on my screen I see these particular columns of data and I want to print column three, right, you can awk print that particular column, right? said allows you to find and replace inside of a file. So the same thing you saw me doing inside a notepad with that find replace, said the stream editor, that's what it lets you do. So you can say every time in this file I see this, replace it with this. Sort, sort is so that you can put stuff in numeric order or alphabetical order and then unique. Unique is so that you can deduplicate something. So I want to remove all of the duplicates from something, or I want to count how many unique cases of this are in a file or in a whole or in a whole folder. And with just these commands, I mean the magic, magic, magic of Linux as really can really be realized here. All right, so let's jump right in with some Apache log file analysis. I think the easiest thing to get started with is Apache. Now, I know people, they're like, oh my God, you know, really dealing with web server logs, that's some nasty stuff. But I really think you just need to jump right in with both feet. So what I want you to do is we're gonna go right in and wget down this log file. And when we wget down this log file, we're gonna start going through a couple of the components of the log file. So the first thing that you're going to see with a log file, Apache log files are called combined log file format. So the combined log file format is the most common log file format in Apache. And you're going to have a couple of different fields. So let's jump right in and let's do it. So I'm going to get to my paste bin. And I'm going to grab this line. So I'm going to grab, now, I know we're using this paste bin. Here's the current paste bin, right? Pastebin.com, capital W, capital E, capital D, lowercase w, capital P, oh, excuse me, lowercase p, CZ9. Some of these line numbers might be different by the time you get to the paste bin. The reason is because I'll probably be editing this paste bin a little bit more, but you know, the line numbers will be fairly close, okay? All right, so wget is short for web get, web get. We're gonna yank down this access log, and this is an access log from one of my web servers. So I'm on my handy dandy computer. Let's yank down this log file, Whee! All right. Okay, now, 
if I want to do an LS, I just want to show what's in this directory. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an LS and I'm going to grep for the word log. So do an LS, but only show me things that have the word log in them. That's a grep is for pattern matching, right? If I want to cat a file, if I want to cat this particular log file, that's how I read the log file. So here's the problem with that. If, right? Now, I might wc-l that access log, right? And say, hey, wc is for word count, dash l, the number of lines. So I got 11,756 lines in this log file. And believe it or not, that's actually a small log file. So you're like, ugh, I am not feeling this bad boy today, right? So what we want to do is we want to start asking ourselves a couple of things. Remember we talked about that, that awk? So what I want to do with awk is let's go ahead and awk. And right here, awk. And I want to print field six. So I want to print field six, sort it, unique it, and sort it again. Now you're looking at that and you're like, okay, well, what did that do for me? It still looks like gibberish. Actually, hold on, let's take a look at it. So in this case, right here for each one, I'm getting the count and the user agent, you see it? The user agent is what web browser they came to my server with. And this number over here is how many times I saw that. Okay, so you can see some Linux people came to my machine. Okay, Mozilla. Windows NT 6.1, and they're on Firefox, okay? Here's a version of .NET. So you're starting to see how many people. Now, these are all the people who came one time. Now, as we jump down here, you're going to start to see that the numbers get bigger. See, somebody came 11, uh, 19 times, 18 times, 17 times. Okay, so all we're looking at here are what are called user agents. Now, when I first started doing this command line stuff, I had a tough time picking this up. So what I used to do is I would log into our Unix box, and I'm going to do what I'm going to show you right now. Look at a previous person's command, and I'm going to backspace through it. So right here, I'm going to backspace through up to the pipe command. The pipe command are these right here. So I'm going to backspace through that last sort dash fr, and it's going to leave me with this unique dash c. So now I run it. Okay, I see what happened. That sort dash fr put these in numerical sort. Do you see how this one's 223 times? This one's 12 times, this one's 11 times, this one's 13 times. These are all user agents. These are all user agents, right? But they're not numerically sorted. So, okay. Unique dash C is I only want to show a count of how many times I saw each one. If I remove the unique dash C, now you got them all, but they're all like flying all by. Unique dash C removes all the duplicates. Can you see how from here through here, these are all duplicates, right? So I don't need to see all of them. Just for each one, tell me how many of them that there were. That's why you like to do the unique dash C. Okay, and then the sort is what grouped them all together. That's why they were all grouped together. So you saw the ones that said WordPress and strategic sec. So now if I get rid of that sort and I'm just saying awk, give me field one out of this log file. I mean, excuse me, give me field six out of this log file. Here's all, all of the ones of the user agents. 
But check this out. You can learn this by ticking through these one at a time. Okay, well, hold on. What is field one? Okay, field one seems to be the IP address and then the timestamp. Okay. What's field two? Okay. Field two is the request and the query, the query string. Okay, so whether it's a get request or a post request, and then the actual query, right? There's the query string. Okay. Let's see what field three is. Aha, number of bytes transferred. Okay. Let's see what field four is. Aha. Okay, sometimes it's a dash. Sometimes this is probably now well, it's either the request or the refer. It looks like that's the actual request. And let's see what we got. That was four. Did we just do five? Five is what we started with, right? Okay, so sometimes there's no five. We, we started with six, there we go. Okay, six is the user agent. Is there a field seven? Nope, no field seven. So for me, that was a really good way to start learning this stuff when I was trying to learn it. I would just log into the Unix machine that all the older guys were using and I would trace through trace through their command line history right and then what I would do is I would run the same command and I would just backspace through backspace through all of it to see like what they were doing okay all right so let's see awk field one print one that's the IP address uh, print two Right, that is the identity, that's probably the source IP. Field three is the user ID, if applicable. Four and five is date timestamp. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, arc print nine, status code. Okay, what are the status codes? That'll be like, if the, if the request is accepted, it'll be like a 200 okay. If, if it's a redirect, it'll be like a 301. Like, hey, I'm asking for this page. The page that you're asking for isn't there. You need to go here to get it. That's a redirect. If you get a 404, that means the file's not found, right? You asked for this page, and I don't have the page that you requested. So sometimes, sometimes what you might end up doing is you might look for certain attacks by sorting by status codes, right? Um, so, for example, oftentimes an SQL injection is going to be an error code 500, right? So you may want to sort by these error code 500s and just out of the ones that are error code 500s, look for whatever it is you want to look for. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.